In this morning's flu watch, almost three and a half million doses of H1N1 flu vaccine are expected to be available by early next month. But most will be in the form of a nasal spray, which has some important limitations. Our Dr. Jennifer Ashton is here to explain. Jen, good to see you. Good, good morning, morning to Russ. You. Important limitations. What are we talking about here? Okay, the flu mist, Russ, contains a live but weakened form of the influenza virus and therefore is not approved for use in everyone. It is only approved in use for people aged 2 to 49, not people with underlying medical conditions, and not pregnant women. So of the 3.4 million doses that will be rolling out in early October, most will be in the form of this flu mist, which actually took some of us in the medical field a little bit by surprise. We didn't expect this one to come out first. Is it as effective as the shot? Controversial. In children, it's actually thought to be a little bit more effective than the injectable form, which does not contain live virus. But in adults, it might be the opposite. So again, most of the H1N1 vaccine will come out in injectable form. This probably was able to come out a little sooner in terms of the production process. So this will be the first batch. And luckily, we'll be able to hit a lot of the kids, which are, as you know, one of the CDC recommended groups. Of course, Dr. Jennifer Ashton. Thank you so much. You bet, Russ.